So, bueno sara. T and I are so excited. We cannot believe that in what, a little bit over a week, we are all going to be together in Italy on the Wine and Shrine Women's Pilgrimage through Italy. It is going to be such a blessing. And I wanted to take just a little moment here and to talk to you about some things that would help you prepare for your pilgrimage. Some things that can help you prepare spiritually uh, and maybe physically as well. And I know T is going to do a little video for you also on how to pack. You'll come to see that she is the Shirley to my Laverne. And so I'm not really so good on the whole packing of your accessories and uh, all the clothes and how you can fit everything everywhere. She's got that down pat. But I wanted to take a little moment here and just talk to you about kind of the nature of the pilgrimage. And it, it really is going to be a blessing. I mean that sincerely. Uh, a pilgrimage isn't just a journey. I mean, we're all on this journey uh, back to the heart of the Father, right? From the moment we were conceived in the heart of the Father, we are on this journey from blessing to blessing to return back to the, his heart. So every moment of our life is a journey. And a pilgrimage, yes, it is a journey, but a pilgrimage is also a destination. It's a place where we can go together to meet God in an intimate way. And that's really, truly what happens when you're on a pilgrimage. And you're going to find that. You're going to find that there's going to be a lot of opportunities for you to meet the Lord. And so I want to encourage you uh, to pray about that. As you're getting ready, as you're getting your packing ready, uh, pray about what the Lord is saying to you. What are your needs? What, is he, what does he want to work on, on you in this pilgrimage? One of the things we always tell our pilgrims is, although we stay in nice places and we have a wonderful time, it really is a pilgrimage and it's like a little snippet of your life kind of zoomed in on the lens kind of zooms in on your life and what you see is for that 12 days that we're together you see how we can really you me how individually we can all grow in virtue and uh, that's quite a thing because in those 12 days every virtue and every vice that you have is going to be magnified and you're gonna have to be patient and kind and understanding and joyful and you know there's all those different things that happen when you're on a pilgrimage and you know we do have some long days which are so good because they're so packed with blessing so I want to encourage you to pray to the Holy Spirit to ask him to to amplify those virtues within you those virtues of generosity and sensitivity and understanding and compassion um, and really Prepare your heart to be ready to go on a pilgrimage because we want you to enter into relationship deeper than ever before, into a deeper relationship with God the Father, into a deeper relationship with Jesus, into a deeper relationship with the Holy Spirit and the Blessed Mother, and into a great relationship with these women that you're going to be journeying with. So one way to do that is to pray to the saints that are going to be journeying with us as well. You know, we're going to stop at their homes. Pray to them. And just ask them, just pray to the whole bunch. That's what I would say. I'd say, pray to all of them at one time and say, I know one of you has something really special and profound for me. I know it. Just please, I ask that that is revealed on this journey. Uh, you'll be surprised. My first time in Assisi, um, St. Clair walloped me. I mean, I just didn't see it at coming from anywhere. I was really thinking, uh, I'd seen a movie on St. Rita. And I thought, I like the St. Rita. I want her to really speak to my heart. And we got to Assisi and it was St. Clair and she has been with me ever since. And now I look back and I think, well, go figure. You know, here she is in communication. Here she is starting a women's movement. You know, she starts a whole a whole convent. I thought, well, no wonder she's hitting on, on me going, come on, wake up. So um, I want you to do that. I want you to pray for the saint. I'm going to look at some notes here uh, to see some other things about packing. So spiritually packing, I, I can talk about that. I'm going to let T do all the great packing details. But the spiritual packing, um, you're going to want a journey, or you're going to want to document this journey. So you are going to probably want a journal, which is a great thing to do when you're on the, on the bus. We're going to have some time on the bus where we're going to be praying, where you're going to be learning um, a lot of different things. We do a lot of teachings on the bus, but we have a lot of downtime too. 
So everything happens so fast. And I don't know if you're like me, you know, something will happen. I'll think, oh, I'll never forget that. And like 20 minutes later, I'm like, what was that? You know, I totally forget. So when you're on a journey like this, it's so great to be able to write it down. So I suggest bringing like a Moleskine notebook. Those are really great. It's a journal, um, pens, highlighters, anything like that. Uh, make sure you pack your Bible. Make sure you pack your Bible uh, or, or small Bible. I always bring my Bible with me because you know we, we have time to read scripture and you never know. I mean, I write my Bible all the time and I, and I love looking back at my Bible and seeing you know, that here I was in Rome on June 26th in 2016, and, you know, this is what hit me. So it's, and touched my heart deeply. So bring your Bible, any holy objects that are really special to you. I know you'll have time to purchase them there um, as well. And then we will be giving you a daily devotional. So I'm really excited you have that. A lot of people bring their Magnificat, but we also have one as well. I want to encourage you to pack the books any good books you need for reading. And I know that there are some that were sent to you. I know we might be a little biased, but um, one is Beyond Sunday, Becoming a 24-7 Catholic by Teresa Tamio. Fabulous, fabulous book. And exactly, this is what you're doing. You're going beyond Sunday. If you're, if you're coming on a pilgrimage to grow deeper in your relationship with the Lord, you are one of those who are going beyond Sunday. So it's a fabulous book for you to bring along. And then the other one you were sent was Gaze Upon Jesus, Experiencing Christ's Childhood Through the Eyes of Women. And as we're entering into Advent, this is going to be a really powerful book as well because you walk with Jesus and we relate to him in the way in which we were created to relate to him with this feminine soul. So I encourage you to bring those two books with you. You'll have some time to read on the plane. Hopefully you get some sleep in too, but you also have some time to read on, uh, on the bus as well. Uh, one kind of quick little thing on taking pictures is, you know, your, uh, the iPhone works great. It, it, it does. My, I, my iPhone or, you know, cameras now and phones are working really, really, really well. I would say make sure that you have enough room on your phone for your pictures because you don't want to be, you know, ready to take a picture and here comes the Holy Father and it's like, ooh, card filled or whatever. <laughs> um, so maybe pull off some of your pictures now. Uh, every day or two, I usually come back to the, the hotel and kind of download all my pictures onto my, my Mac. You don't necessarily have to bring a laptop. I do just because we communicate with home. And we show all the people and women in the new evangelization everything that you are doing. And so uh, it's fun. You know, it's really great to be able to take all these pictures. And everyone has a different angle, how they see things. And perhaps at the end of our pilgrimage, someone will offer to put together a nice little coffee table book. We've had that a couple of years now where... One of the pilgrims said, I can do that. Just send me all your pictures and I'll make something nice. So it's a really good memoir. Um, basic packing. I know Teresa will talk to you about packing and packing your medicine. Make sure that's on your carry-on and always bring a second pair of glasses and those kind of fun things. But um, I want to talk to you a little bit about bringing a uh, converter and adapters. And uh, you don't know, not a... Not everything needs a converter. Like I know if you like, I know like my laptop doesn't necessarily because of the Mac how it's um, created, it uses an adapter. But there's a converter, and then the adapters. I have this nice little kit, which I really, really, really like, and you can see them. And it even tells me which ones are for Europe. And so make sure you have a couple of those. They're good for your curling irons, your hair dryers, you know, all of those fun things. Um, one thing I did want to talk to you about, though, is credit cards. So if you're bringing your credit card and plan on going shopping or, you know, buying gifts for your lovely hostess, just kidding, um, you can, or what you should do is you should for sure call the credit card company and let them know where you're going and what dates you're going to be out of the, t out of, out of the country. Do that also with your bank, too. If you have, like, a Visa debit card, make sure you call you know, Wells Fargo or whatever. Yeah, I did mine online. I did a travel plan online. So they know that from, you know, November 3rd through November 14th, I'm going to be in Italy. Um, so make sure you do that. Getting money in Italy is not a problem. There's ATMs everywhere. We stop and, you know, if ever you're in need of money, we stop and get some money. You know, things you'll want money for on a daily basis. You probably want a couple, always have some l small euros because we'll have water on the bus. And I think usually it's like a euro you know, one euro for a bottle of water or something. So when you're getting off and on the bus, um, make sure that you, speaking of euros, 
uh, kind of a fun thing. I was cleaning today. That's not the fun part. The fun part was I found a little, my little Roma um, purse and it had 70 euros in it. I'm like, ah, oh, it's exciting. That leads me to tell you, make sure you stop and get some euros at your bank before you leave. Uh, the reason I say that, I usually bring about, probably I'll travel over there with probably about 300 euros, whatever. But make sure you do that because you might, you know, you might want to have a cafe <laughs> when you get into the airport and you want to have money on you. Um, I also want to encourage you to make a copy of your passport. Uh, make sure you have, um, have a copy of that. And I am going to send each of you my cell number. So you have my cell phone number, which reminds me, go to your, um, your whoever your, is your carrier for your cellular coverage and let them know too. If you plan on using your cell phone over there, um, let them know where you're going and see which plan works for you. Uh, I know I do, I do a plan that just covers me for the whole month. You know, usually when I'm there, you can do one for two weeks, I'm sure. Um, but make sure you, you have that because you don't want to get there and then get tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of charges for, for using data. Um, one really great way for us to communicate that is uh, free and wonderful is called WhatsApp. So it's what's like W H A T S and then A P P. So you can download that and uh, we can give everyone, you know, who you can find me on WhatsApp. And then should you need to contact me while we're in Italy, like say you're, you know, shopping and you see a lovely bottle of vino and you think I might like it and you want to contact me and ask me, um, you can WhatsApp me. And that's a really, it's a, it's a great app. Another thing, let's see, corporate travel. We love corporate travel. They're so wonderful to us. And you should be receiving a package from them with a ton of stuff. I know that's not the official thing, but ton of stuff. You'll get a, like your luggage tag, your, your name lanyard. You gotta wear your name tag all the time. Um, a booklet with the itinerary and everything we're doing. All your airline information, that devotional we spoke about, uh, the books from Teresa, the book from me, uh, so you're going to be getting a lot of stuff and you're going to be probably a little bit more at ease uh, once you get all this stuff in the mail. And if you're traveling on your own or not traveling with a group, uh, fear not. Be not afraid. We will meet you at the airport. T and I will be there and we will be there with bells on and probably in a, a cappuccino in our hand, you know, to say buongiorno and to welcome you to a beautiful, beautiful experience. Uh, let's see, what else did I want to tell you about the airport? Oh, if you're traveling, I know from Minneapolis, there's a group of you traveling. And in one of our emails that went out, I sent a picture of three lovely ladies. And it is Louise and Sammy and Claudia. And so if you can see their pictures and recognize them, um, they'll, you'll probably all be sitting in the same section. So it'd be great for you to, uh, to connect before we get to Milano. So I think that's it. I'm sorry, I was kind of rambling, but I am so excited. And uh, you know, I hopefully you're you're brushing up on your Italian. There are just a couple words you'll need to know. You know, arrivederci, ciao ciao. You know, salute. You'll you'll learn all these words. There is a kio. You know, they're fun, fun, fun words to learn. And so uh, we look forward to you being there. Um, I think a couple of my favorite words are gelato and vino. Uh, Teresa will teach you the words for sale. And how much is this? Uh, but uh, I, I know gelato and vino. So I hope you have a wonderful week prepping and getting ready. Really, really pray. Pray to the Holy Spirit to show, to reveal to you what God wants to work on you and with you on this week. And pray for your fellow pilgrims. And know that we are praying for you. We are so excited. We cannot wait to share this journey with you. Um, hope you have a wonderful week, and I will see you in Milan. Ciao, ciao. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. When the world seems to shine like you've had too much wine, that's amore.